Today we're making thịt đông, also known as thịt nấu đông, an aspic from the northern region of Vietnam. It is traditionally made and served in the winter, especially for thud, because the low temperature of this season allows the aspic to set. Nowadays, although it's still mainly eaten around this time, it can be made in places without cold winter and year-round thanks to modern refrigeration. It is traditionally made with pork, mainly ham hock, along with pork rinds or skin, shiitake, and wood ear mushroom. It is the collagen in the skin that allows the aspic to set and retain its shape. You can also make a chicken version with certain types of chicken that have thicker skin or with the help of gelatin. The flavors of this dish are simple and umami with a fun variety of textures. The gelatinous broth, the soft meat, the chewy pork rind, and the crunchy wood ear mushrooms. It is best served with steaming hot rice and zu mui, pickled mustard greens. For this recipe, you'll need pork hock, pork rind or ears, depending on whether you like a softer or crunchier texture, white onion, ginger, garlic, shallot, a carrot, wood ear and shiitake mushrooms, salt, whole black peppercorns, ground black pepper, fish sauce, bouillon powder, a neutral oil, and water. First, we'll start by parboiling the pork. Here I am cutting up some white onion and a piece of ginger, then smashing the ginger with the flat of the knife. Now we'll add the pork to the pot along with the onion, smashed ginger, a generous amount of salt, and water. The salt will help draw out the impurities, while the onion and ginger will help remove any odor from the meat. We'll bring this to a boil on medium-high, then reduce heat to medium and let the impurities boil out for 3 minutes. Remove from heat, strain, and rinse the pork well under running water. Discard the onion and ginger. Once our pork is clean, cut the hock into bite-sized pieces, about two to three centimeters. For the skin, cut it into strips about three centimeters wide, then cut those strips into pieces about one to one and a half centimeters. If you're using ears instead, cut into strips like with the skin, then slice very thinly about two to three millimeters. Add the pork into a bowl along with salt, ground black pepper, and fish sauce. Mix well, then let marinate for at least 30 minutes. While the pork marinates, we'll prep the rest of the ingredients, starting with the mushrooms. Add the shiitake and wood ear mushrooms to a heat-proof bowl and pour in enough boiling water to cover. Let sit to rehydrate. This next step is optional but recommended because it adds a beautiful touch to the presentation of the dish. We're going to make some carrot flower slices. If you have a decorative vegetable cutter, you can use that instead. I'm starting by cutting a section out of this carrot. It's best to choose a carrot that is as cylindrical as possible, where the top and bottom aren't drastically different in size. Next, peel the carrot. 
To make our petals as even as possible, we'll first divide and score to mark five even sections on one end of the piece of carrot, four if the carrot is small. Following each of those marks, score a straight line down the length of the carrot. Cut each line into a V-shaped trench by cutting towards the line at a 45 degrees angle on either side. These two cuts will meet in the middle and you can remove the strip to reveal the trench. If any of the trenches are not straight or are different sizes, you can go back to adjust and clean them up. Once you're happy with how it looks, slice the carrot crosswise into flower slices around 2 millimeters thick. These carrot flower slices are also commonly added to noodle soups or along with kohlrabi or green papaya to dipping sauces for dishes like nimzan. Next, peel then thinly slice shallot and garlic. Once the mushrooms have fully rehydrated, strain and rinse. Cut wood ear mushrooms into pieces about 2 centimeters. Similar to the pork rind, I like cutting the wood ear mushrooms into even strips first, then into pieces. If your shiitake mushrooms have stems, trim them off. If the mushrooms are big, you can slice them in half. Once the meat is done marinating, toast the peppercorns in a pan for one minute on medium-low heat. Gently crush them using a mortar and pestle. Heat the pan on medium with vegetable oil. Add the mushrooms to the pan along with fish sauce. Saute for two minutes. Pour the mushrooms into a bowl and set aside. Add more oil to the pan than the shallot and garlic. Saute on medium low for one minute. Remove 
remove the garlic and shallot from the pan and discard. Try to press the oil out of them as you're removing. We want to flavor the oil with the garlic and shallot, but do not want to add them in the aspic because they would become mushy and make the broth cloudy. If your pan looks dry, add a little bit of extra oil before adding the pork. Do not pour in any extra liquid that came out of the pork as it was marinating. Saute the pork on medium for three minutes. Once done, remove your pan from the heat. Place a pot on the stove. To the pot, add the sautéed pork. Add the water. Bring to boil on medium, skimming off any impurities and fat that form on the surface. Reduce heat to low, cover with the lid slightly ajar, and simmer for 20 minutes. Continue to skim off any impurities and fat throughout the process. The more carefully you skim the broth, the clearer your final product will be. Once the 20 minutes is up, add the shiitake and wood ear mushrooms, stir to combine, and simmer for 5 more minutes. Keep skimming the broth. After five minutes, season to taste with more fish sauce and bouillon if needed. Remove from heat and let sit on the counter to cool to room temperature. Now that this has cooled down a bit, we're ready to add it to our mold or bowl. If you have a silicone mold, unmolding will be extra easy, but a regular bowl will work just fine. I like using bowls with walls that curve smoothly to the bottom like this one, rather than ones like this that have a clear separation between the walls and the flat bottom. Start by arranging the carrot flower slices at the bottom. I choose a few nice looking pieces of pork and mushrooms to place in between. This helps space out the carrot flowers, and since we'll flip this later, these nice pieces will be visible at the top of the aspic. Once your bottom layer is done, Spoon the rest of the pork and mushrooms from the pot into the bowl, sprinkling in the crushed peppercorns.
Once all the pork and mushrooms have been added, strain in the broth through a sieve. This will help us get an even cleaner aspic. You want the broth to fully or at least partially covering the pieces at the top. And that's it. Now we'll cover these bowls. You can use plastic wrap, bees wrap, or a plate and let sit in the fridge to set for four to five hours. It's been four hours. You can see that the aspic has set, so let's unmold. If you use a ceramic bowl like this, I like letting it sit in a bit of warm water for about two minutes. This will help the sides unstick. Take a sharp knife and run it along the edges, just towards the top. And I like shaking it a little bit to loosen it. If it's not loosening, you can put it back in the warm water for a little bit longer. Look how clear that is. And glossy. The best way to eat this is with some steaming hot rice and some zumoi. When you put this on the rice, it warms up the aspect just a little bit. And the balance is beautiful. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more Vietnamese and French recipes.